I needed to do something big for myself to heal, to grieve, to process, to move on. And I figured, well, I could ride my bike across country. Here's one story that got us in our feels this week. We're looking at a California dad that is finding a way to bring healing to his family after the loss of his wife. Eric Livingstone came up with the idea of Highway to Heal, a project he created to help him deal with grief after his wife Jacqueline passed away from triple negative breast cancer in 2016. The project will take Eric on a bike ride across the country from Santa Monica, California to New York City. Not just to find himself, but to figure out a way to bridge the emotional gap between him and his son, Aliyah. I recognize right now that I don't have the tools to connect with him the way I want to connect with him. And not that there's anything wrong between us and our relationship. Our relationship's great, but I guess I'm trying to make up for what he doesn't have with his mom. I left my career to spend more time with my son because I just knew that he needed me. Eric is hoping to sit down and talk with many people on the 4,000 mile journey, from survivors to experts that deal with grief, in hopes of converting his findings into a documentary that will help others affected by the loss of a loved one. With regards to the, the people uh, that I want to speak with, it's kind of two ways. One is organic and one is planned. The organic way is ask, tweet out on social media, who's got the best chocolate shake in town and roll into that spot. Start talking to people over a chocolate shake. The other point of the ride was to interview people who can help me with grief and healing and in that process. The cross-country ride is also going to raise awareness and fundraise for the organization Camp Kesem, a camp that is run specifically for kids who have been impacted by a parent's cancer. Eric first got involved after his son asked to attend Camp Kesem in 2019. It's a five-night overnight camp, and this was going to be the first time Eli was gone for five nights that we had been separated. Eli goes to camp and he comes back. I'll never forget going to pick him up and he comes running off the bus and just gave me the biggest... He just gave me the biggest loving hug. And I knew, I knew that what he had experienced changed him. At that moment, I just became, uh, I fell more in love with Camp Kesem. There's 120 children, 60 counselors, and in some way, they're all connected to cancer and the loss of a loved one or someone going through cancer. And what they're doing is they're just creating a space. They're all holding space for each other in a way that makes them feel they're not alone. And I think that's huge. I think that's so critical, even today, with what's going on in the civil unrest, that no, you don't feel alone, you feel heard, you feel safe, you feel connected. I want to make a positive change and I want to do good and life put me here. Life put cancer in our lives. Uh, there's five million kids out there like my son, which means there's five million surviving caregivers out there and this is just cancer. What about all the other horrible losses and situations that happen to families that impact them with grief and depression and e economical hardship and, 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 and so forth? Like most of the world, Eric's original plan was changed by COVID-19. Now I don't know when I'm hitting the road. I don't think there's gonna be a new normal. Uh, there's just gonna be a, a shift. Secretly, I'm, I, I would love to be a Camp Kesem, Team Kesem ambassador. Uh, I want to continue uh, what I like to call them athletic adventures. And next year, I want to do something else as, as big. And I want to keep it going and I want to keep it alive. And as a surviving caregiver, that's been a huge component to my healing. And getting out of the, the grips of depression has been moving my body. Even though the plan is on hold for now, Eric shares what he is most looking forward to on his journey. What I am experiencing, the hardship of losing my wife and watching my son go through the pain and the suffering of losing his mom, it's given me a strength. It's forced me to change and dig deep, to want to come out to be better for myself and for my son. What I am most looking forward to is getting on the road I have literally put my entire life and staked my entire life on making this happen. I'm riding my bicycle across the country. I'm putting myself into a position, a place, a space to do good, to help, to raise awareness. I've sacrificed everything, my career, my life, everything to make this happen. To know I have an opportunity to connect with this stranger, I have an opportunity to learn, I have an opportunity to share, 
I have an opportunity to be empathetic, to be kind, to love, to receive love. Yeah, and I just, I think the whole thing is gonna rock my world. And I wanna share that.